Everybody say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm. We're leaving, Lily. You're going with us, huh? You're gonna get some special mom and pop time. See ya. You're in good hands with Miss Christy. The road's still a bit sketchy. I've got a little bit more experience driving in the snow. Grew up here my whole life. Had four wheelers when I was a kid. So I'll just get us out through this sketchy stuff. Ice on the windshields. We don't have a scraper, do we? I couldn't find a scraper. Okay. I got it off best I could with a CD case. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to know the big secret to driving safe in the snow? Yeah. You ready for it? Yeah. Drive slow. Yeah. Got pretty compact ice we're driving on right now. Yeah. Just cruising in the first gear. Still driving. I'm getting a nice break from the norm. Although I'm a little bit bored over here. <laughs> Don't really have a whole lot to do, so. How's driving? It's good, it's finally cleared up now that we're on the interstate. I would have thought some of the other roads would have been more clear, but they weren't. Daddy. We are here at the bus. We got three people working on it. The mechanic, the welder, and Jeff. He's getting the old tires off. That's some serious tire right there. That's a good tire. We don't want to mess around driving our four kids all over the country. in here by the fire. What are you doing in here today, Jeff? Working on your washer and dryer. I already got it mobile. Cool. Oh, sweet, look at that. How are we gonna make it unmobile when we drive? You can lock it, it's got locks on the casters. Sweet. So it'll lock in place. And then we'll make a lock on the doors. Okay. Let's see what Brian's up to. How's it going out here, Brian? Good. Is everything going all right? Yeah, we're getting ready to cut your bus to pieces. Nice. Measure it a lot before I do. Yes. It. A whole lot. Measure eight times, cut once. I think I'm on a dozen at this When point. you're dealing with metal. He says it's perfect. Look at this. Looking so good, Brian. Like the handles, the paint job. They're fixing the cut. Hey, you look good there in that driver's seat. Hey. Jeff is asking you a question, Lily. Are you excited to live in the bus? Yes. I don't know. This is like kind of scary. How big it is. Maybe on like a highway I could do it, but any type of <laughs> They might not like you. There it is. It's nerve wracking, huh? Yeah. That's no worse than driving it. First time cutting the bus right here. No turning back now. You're doing a good job. We gotta go. Bye bye, Jeff. Talk to you later. Talked to the mechanic on my way out there. He says the back brakes look good. He says it's a great engine. Whew.
when I was sitting in it. Very so deep back. Very deep. He's going to change the oil. He's going to be done with the tires. So if all goes well, he'd probably be done today. I think he's got to do big It's a good bottom piece. celebrate another winter day. We get to play out in the snow, the sun is out, the skies are blue. Uh, Lily is with Mama and Papa and so the boys and I are gonna have some fun checking out the ice situation at the lake. Without its button nose and button eyes. So we're uh, working on a family portrait of snowmen. We had a bit of a natural disaster when uh, Josiah's gigantic snowman fell over. Mr. Brown, where's Papa Snowman? Successful reconstruction. Good job, Joni, Joni and Josie. You're right. What do you think would help? We're almost home. The roads are a lot better. And now we're home in the afternoon. Look at the difference. This is what it looked like this morning. And now this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. What are you doing in your pajamas? I wear them outside in my snowsuit. Oh, okay. Where are you taking me? To these. The snowman? What? Boy, you guys built some snowmen. It, this is Papa. He's even got my hat. Gideon, Mama, Christy, Josiah, Jonah, Lily, and then Kenzie May. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family. Hey, little man. I'm back. We got some stuff. Yay, what do we get? More of the water filter stuff, and we got this thing for the summer, for the solar so, stuff. That's all, enough said. And then this is the blanket. Woo! <laughs> 31,000. Kickstarter update time. The project's going great, you guys are awesome. Today's farm feature, a guy we're gonna visit. Pro you probably never heard of him. Somebody just like you, who was inspired by us and began to vlog. They've done something like 30 vlogs and I'm gonna share them with you because we're gonna go see them. They're up and coming YouTubers, up and coming homesteaders. Here's the first video we saw. It's where they were shopping for one of those sheds and they're gonna convert it into a tiny house and put it on their new homesteading property. Check it out. When I saw the sheds, I thought, what the heck, we're gonna live in the wilderness and you're taking me away from all my friends and this is going to be terrible and I live in a shed. Today we're going to look at sheds. Yes. Houses. Shed to house conversion. Ella, go find the house, okay? Okay, so we are here at Enterprise Center in Giddings, Texas. Uh, we're gonna be looking at some tiny house cabin sheds. You look at that one. Okay. Is there anybody in there? Hey, Dad, remember the same one that we already looked in? Aren't they cool? I can't wait to meet and hang out with them and introduce more of them to you guys. If you're interested in them, I'll leave the link in the description. Check out their channel, give them some love. And even though we've met our Kickstarting goal, you can still get in on that. It's gonna be a great deal on the documentary, some exclusive bonuses. Check it out, I'll leave the link down below. 
And oh, one more thing, one more thing before we go to bed. We're gonna do another live show. You guys liked it so much. We had such a great time. Let's do another live show. We'll talk more about the Great American Farm Tour. We'll just hang out. It's so much fun. Let's do that Thursday night. Let me ask Beauty, because Christy's not available again. Hey, Beauty. Should we, hey beauty, she's got the head, headphones on. Hey, should we do 8, 8 p.m. on Thursday? Because yeah. we won't have Christy and maybe Mr. Brown will for sure be to sleep. So let's do 8 p.m. Eastern time here on the YouTube channel. All you gotta do is be on this YouTube channel at around 8, 8 o'clock. See you guys then, it's gonna be fun. Oh, don't, don't make me dance in the snow again though, okay?